We are here with the one and the only Jordan Sparks, Grammy nominee tonight for Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance Song. Jordan, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's chilly, but yeah. I'm but I'm good. I'm glad that I made it. Um, I'm excited to be back here after the first time, which was like 15 years ago. So it's an honor to be nominated once, and it's incredible to be nominated again. Yeah. How does it feel to be nominated for this specific piece of work? It feels really good. You know, the song really resonated with me for King Country called me and said, hey, do you want to hop on this song with me? And I, I was just like, of course I would. I listened to the song and it means so much. You know, everybody wants to be loved like they are exactly where they're at at that point in life. And um, I really wanted to, to share that message. So, so the fact that it touched so many people to get to this stage is, is pretty incredible. Absolutely, and now you're here, yes. and you're, <laughs> and you look gorgeous. You gotta tell us about this dress because it is a work of art. Yes. So this dress is Zig Mon, and I found it last minute. Um, was scrambling. That is the story of my life when it comes to big events. I think I have everything done, and then at the last minute, I'm like. Okay, let's fix this. Um, but I got it from this amazing showroom called The Show Must Go On. And Love they were that. really incredible, right? Yeah. They're so amazing. Yeah. And I called them last minute. I was like, I need to come in and find something. And we made it work. So it was really cool working with my stylist, working with them. Um, and we got it together. Okay, we got it together. We got it together. Got it together. Yes. Jordan, your voice is so beautiful. You always ha share such an inspirational message. Do we have more music coming from you this year? Tell us. Do we have more music? <laughs> yes, we do. I have a new album that I'm working on. I just really the first single last fall called Call My Name. And um, yeah, it's a little different than what people are used to, but it, it very much represents who I am now as a person, as a mom, as a wife, as a woman, as an artist. And um, the title is called No Restrictions. I don't know if I'm supposed to, I hope my manager doesn't give out of me. Uh, but it's because that's, it represents where I am at this time. I don't want to be tied down. I want to be able to experiment with what I want to experiment with in terms of the music and my voice and play around with what I can do. Um, and I think when you start to make things for yourself from that point, it really resonates with everybody else. So I'm very excited for this to get to people's ears. Yeah, I, I can't bet, wait. I, you've been in this business for a long time and it feels like you're finally at this moment where you're like, wait a second. Everything's kind of making sense and I just want to do, I want to be my who I am. Yes, exactly. And I mean, I think it takes artists, we all have those moments where we're like, okay, now I understand what I'm doing. Or like it clicks, not necessarily the understanding because I've always understood the music part, but the understanding that, oh, it doesn't have to be for everybody else. It can just be for me and that's okay. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get these out or get this album out to everybody and hopefully I'll be here next year. That's yeah. what I'm manifesting. What would, I mean, you're so inspirational. What would you say to younger artists who are out there trying to be the next Jordan Sparks? Yes. What, what inspiration can you give them? Man, be on time. Okay, <laughs> be on time. Um, respect other people's time, you know, because we're all just out here trying to make it and trying to create the best art that we can. Um, also, just make sure it's something you really want to do. This is a lot. It requires a lot. It requires a lot of sacrifice, exhaustion sometimes. It requires like maybe picking and choosing like, oh, I can't go to this, but I have to go to that. Um, and sometimes people won't understand what you're doing, you know, and I guess what I would say to that is, uh, not everybody can understand your journey because God didn't give them your vision. So just stay in your lane, do what you do for you, not stay in your lane in a mean way, but like you don't have to be distracted by everybody else because there's room for all of us. So I guess that's what I would say. I love that. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you. And you have a daughter, right? My son. Your son, you have a boy. Is he watching from home? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he might be playing, uh, you know, on his little handheld game game thing today because it's a, a weekend. But um, he knew that I was coming today and he gave me like six, seven hugs before I left. Good luck, mommy. And when he saw it was raining, he was like, I don't think you should go today. You should stay home with me. And I was like, I would love to do that. So as soon as we get done with the carpet and as soon as we get done with the show, I'm headed back to my little one. Yeah. Oh gosh, I love it. You're such a good mama. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Congratulations. Best of luck to yeah. you. And we can't wait to hear more. Yes. Have a great night.